Hi guys, happy new year, good evening. It's a beautiful Monday evening with you guys and uh, welcome to LA First for Peter Church of Nazarene. This is our annual new year prayer and fasting day one. So we have this uh, five day January 4 to 5 you know, uh, annual new year. Actually, we will also be having another annual mid year you know, in July. So, yun, talagang best time to fast corporately sa ating simbahan. Alright, bako tayo magsimula. Let's start with uh, our COVID-19 response as a church. We encourage you to follow these guidelines for the best possible way to love others in your return to LA Fionas. Please wear a mask. Seating will be limited and please seat with those you came to service with. Maintain physical distancing six feet apart from those who don't live within your household. Please keep three seats between households. Pick up communion, sermon notes, and drop off your tithes and offering in the lobby prior to entering the worship center. If you are sick or have been exposed to someone who is sick, worship with us online. Uh, kids and youth services will be temporarily put on hold. So those are just reminders. Uh, if you wish to join us every Sunday, 9 a.m. at Wiley Chapel, please uh, be reminded of all these things. And if you feel safer at your home, uh, we respect that. And uh, please join us online in our Facebook Live and YouTube Live. All right, let's start. Let's start with the reading of the word for today or tonight. It's January 4, 2021. It's Monday. In Psalm 108, verses 10 to 13, in verse 10, it says, Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? God, haven't you rejected us? God, we do not march out with our armies. Give us aid against the foe. For human help is worthless. With God, we will perform violently. And he will trample our foes. Wow. That is so beautiful. Especially in verse 13. When he said, with God, we will perform violently. Not us, but he will trample our foes. Question. Do you believe God has your back? Have you asked yourself this question? Welcome to our lifestyle of fasting and attitude of prayer. This is a five day, five nights devotion. Please join us, you know, bask in the presence of God and uh, be excited and just enjoy every minute of it. Question, have you, have you like me struggled to find God in the midst of your adversity? Wondered if God had your back when a co-worker talked negatively about you without any repercussions, or if he saw what an unfair situation made you out to be the bad guy, or maybe asked, where are you, Lord, when you have felt alone in the troubles? Even though we read in the Bible that God is our defender and protector, we may wonder if he's really there. We may question if he'll come to our rescue. Because sometimes it seems the bad guy gets away while we hurt. We may see no justice immediately. How do we know God has our back when the going gets tough? In Psalm 108 verse 13, is a basic but powerful reminder that with God, there is a victory over our enemies. With God, we will perform valiantly. He will trample our foes. You see, know that Jesus has a victory and that nothing in this world can overcome you when you are in him and the victory is his. As we go through this prayer and a fasting week, we'll be looking at the promises in scripture that remind us that God has our back. Really? This week, we will be reminded that God is within us and 
different situations and different ways. Even if we may not feel, if we may not feel it or even see it. Join me for the next four days and let's discover together what the Bible says about God as our defender. Sabi nga, my son, sikat na brand, just do it. Please be reminded that fasting and prayer is a spiritual boot, boot camp. Just do it. It's a spiritual boot camp. Do it, do it, do it. It's a must and you need it and you will benefit from it. I was reminded of uh, this morning, saan ba talaga galing yung tulong? Diba? In Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2, it says, I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yes, He is your defender. He will vindicate you. He is your protector. From COVID-19 to, to the people who want you out to the situations of this world, financial turmoil, whatever. There's always a way out with God. Remember that uh, you just need to push. Pray until something happens. That's why we're doing this. We want to teach our people to pray until something happens. Because God wants us to exercise faith in Him. The battle is the Lord when you fast and pray. These are day one. I hope you're enjoying your fasting and praying. Please be reminded in 2 Chronicles 20.15, it says there, And he said, Listen, O Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat. That says the Lord to you. Do not be afraid. And do not be dismayed at this great horde or this vast army. For the battle is not yours. Boom. But God's. Please be reminded that the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Please be reminded whatever you're, you're experiencing right now. Probably you're sick. Probably you know someone who is sick. Probably you are in debt. You are having financial problems, broken relationships, work-related problems, school-related problems. Anything. The battle is not yours, but God's. Let us pray. Please be reminded for your prayer request. Please comment down below or wherever you're seeing this in Facebook or on YouTube. And uh, we will pray for you from Tuesday to Friday. We would love to do that for you guys. Let us pray. Our prayer focus for today Monday, January 4, is COVID-19. Let's start praying. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful evening of Monday night. And um, thank you for being with us. Thank you for our, being our special guest. Thank you for reminding us that you are our protector. You are our defender. Even though it seems like we are losing, even though it seems like we are being bullied, or even it seems like... Some people are unfair to us. Still, you remind us that uh, the battle is not ours, but yours. Lord, you know every person, every soul that is listening and watching tonight. I believe, Lord, that uh, you will reveal yourself to them tonight. And we ask for forgiveness if there's anything that we said, we thought of, and uh, we did that is not pleasing to your sight. Forgive us. Help us. Cleanse us. We thank you for all the blessings that we receive from you, that we continue to receive from you, Lord God, and we, we remember in prayer, Lord God, my cousin, Shella, she's on, uh, she's, in, she's on her second chemo, uh, today and um, we lift up to you our situation Lord God we believe that you are the, you are a big God who can easily decide to remove cancer Lord God from her 
I pray, Lord God, for complete healing for Shella, my cousin, my God. I pray, Lord God, for the son of Sister Nancy, Ron Eric Simbrano. Lord, uh, he's uh, suffering from dengue for six days now in the hospital. We pray, Lord God, that you provide blood for him. We pray that they completely heal him. And uh, as we pray right now, he'll be up from his bed and uh, we'll go home and we will rejoice. And now uh, we will, we will uh, magnify your name, Lord God. We pray for Ari and Lord God for complete healing. You know her heart, Lord God, and you, you, you know what she's going through, Lord God. And um, we just lift up the evening prayers, Lord God, to Ariane, Lord, help her, heal her, protect her, Lord God. And also remember in prayer radio for complete healing, Lord God. We believe in you. We we, we claim your healing. We will overcome this. And, uh, we believe that uh, everything will be okay. We thank you, Lord God, for the power of prayer, for the power of fasting. We thank you, Lord God. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Okay, some announcement, guys. Uh, January 4 to 8, as we all know, annual five days of praying and fasting. Please join us and uh, choose your... Uh, whatever fasting style and gusto nyo. Uh, you can find that as we discussed that earlier uh, yesterday, Sunday, you know, sa ating sermon. And uh, this from Monday to Friday, meron tayong night devotion to guide us in our fasting. Meron tayong prayer night and, uh, you know, small talk about God's word. If you wish to be baptized in water, please look for Pastor Jeff. Ako po yun. <laughs> they need counseling. Any prayer request, look for Pastor Bert. For online giving, type that Lee. Search for LA First Filipino Church. Happy birthday to our January celebrators, Kaya and Shelton. Tita Fe, happy birthday. Happy 18th birthday, <laughs> Tita Fe. <laughs> happy birthday to Leslie and happy birthday to Wedge. Daughter of Pastor Bird. Uh, please be reminded our fellowship schedule Wednesday, 7 p.m. Walk through the Bible virtual midweek live Facebook and YouTube. We will resume on January 23 and uh, nasa book of Proverbs at time. And every Friday, 8 p.m. Bible study and prayer party we will resume on January 8. And uh, on Sundays, every 9 a.m. in person at Wiley Chapel. Online, virtual worship, live at Facebook and YouTube. Let me bless you tonight. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Maraming salamat sa pagsama ni sa amin ngayong gabi. Glad to see you again. Glad to uh, be back. Sarap ng bakasyon. I hope you enjoyed your vacation. I'll see you tomorrow night, Tuesday, for another uh, nightly devotion ng ating prayer and fasting. Uh, prayer and fasting week. So we have annual uh, New Year and we will also have another one sa July. Our annual midweek prayer and fasting. So for me, prayer and fasting, be excited. Enjoy nyo lang. Enjoy nyo ang Panginoon. Amen. God bless you. Kakandahan ka pa sana. Kasi lang eh. Baka mo lang. <laughs> God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.